We are here about the complaint filed by Ms. Angie Sim. As I explained, all her purchases were made using her own account. But she said she did not receive the items. Where were the items sent? According to our records, all her purchases were sent to this address in Mailing Street. In fact, she made another purchase of a mobile phone that is going to be delivered two days from now. Is that delivery to the same address? Yes. Thanks for the information. How is it? I've made a survey of the unit. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual. Hmm, okay. Anyway, I just got a call from the office just now. The registered owners of this address are Mr. and Mrs. Tan. Let's see who takes receipt of the delivery. Edwin here. Package on the way to the unit. Delivery. Mm. Honey, sign over here. I'm SIO Liu Yixiu from CID. Sir, are you taking delivery of this package? Uh, yes. And your name is? Gabriel Tan. Mr Tan, are you aware that the content of this parcel has been illegally obtained? No, I'm just helping a friend of a friend take the delivery of the items. That's all. Can we come in, please? Mr Tan. These items were purchased through the unauthorised access of an e-commerce account. Gabriel Tan, I'm placing you under arrest for dishonestly receiving stolen property. Mr Tan, besides receiving the delivery of the phone just now, we have evidence to show that you also received the delivery of the watch and four tablets on this list. All these items which were delivered to your address were illegally purchased online by hacking into a victim's e-commerce account. Do you want to tell me how you did it? Do you hack into the website to obtain the passwords? No, I didn't hack into any websites. I just received the delivery of the items. That's all. I'm not a hacker. If you didn't do it, then who did? It must be Jia Hao's friend. His name is Lim Jun Xuan. I just let him use my address to receive the items. That's all. So when you received those items, you knew they were illegally obtained? Yes. Where can you find Xia Hao and Chun Chun? Lim Chin Chen exploited online accounts that used the same username and password combinations. He hacked into 30 individuals' accounts and performed 95 successful transactions. In total, he made more than $70,000 worth of illegal purchases. Lim Jin Chen was sentenced to a total of 28 months imprisonment for unauthorized access and modification to computer material, conspiring to commit offenses of dishonestly receiving stolen property and cheating by personation. Leong Tia Hao was sentenced to 27 months probation for conspiring to commit offences of dishonestly receiving stolen property. Gabriel Tan was sentenced to 27 months probation for committing offences of dishonestly receiving stolen property. In the case you've just seen, the hacker was successful as a result of exploitation of weak passwords. Reusing the same password for multiple accounts had provided the hacker with an easy opportunity to conduct online fraud. To avoid becoming a victim to cyber criminals, you should secure your online accounts. You should use different passwords for different accounts. Do not store sensitive information such as your IC number and passport detail in your email account. If you are charged for an online purchase which you did not make, change your password immediately before you report the incident. To ensure your website is secure, businesses should update your antivirus and anti-malware solutions, as well as patch and update your firewall regularly. Do engage a reputable vendor to test your systems and databases to ensure that they are adequately protected. Members of the public are reminded that scams are on the rise. The National Crime Prevention Council has just launched an anti-scam helpline for the public to seek advice or check if they are being scammed. The helpline also hopes to provide timely intervention to stop a scam from happening. The number for the anti-scam helpline is 
6688. The public is also advised to be cautious if asked to accept packages on behalf of someone unfamiliar. You may be receiving stolen property. Anyone who knowingly assists fraudsters may be investigated and prosecuted for their involvement in the scams. During these school holidays, youths may be tempted to join a gang for a sense of belonging or even out of boredom. But be warned, joining a gang may be easy, leaving one is not. After the break, the horrifying experience of one gang member who tried to leave his gang. Hey, Melvin. What's up, bro? Hey, Manu. Nothing's up. Life is so boring. You have anything exciting to do? I know how to solve your boredom problem. How? You need to join a gang. Gang? Uh, dangerous or not? Maybe, but at least you won't be bored, right? You want in? Sure, why not? Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, Siong. This is Melvin. No? He wants to be a member. He wants to be a member of our gang? Yeah. Go back. Oh, master. Okay. But Manu, it's your responsibility from now, okay? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Melvin. Melvin. Melvin is no name for a gang member. From today onwards, you are Xiao Wu. Victor Tiger, okay? Told you like the gang. Hey, little tiger. Why are you looking so glum? Cheer up, huh? The gang only wants my money. Xiong keeps borrowing money from me, but he never pays anything back. You must not be so money-minded. Remember, you're in a gang now. One for all, all for one. Not so sure, Manu. I'm thinking of leaving the gang. It's just not what I thought it would be. What? You want to leave the gang? Are you sure you leaving will look bad for me? I want out. Really? Yeah. I want out. Fine. I'll let Seong know. He what? He wants to leave the gang. He did what? It's so easy to leave. Do you know what we do when people want to leave? We kick him. We punch him. All right. Everyone has to punch and kick him as hard as they can for five minutes. I'll tell him. Maybe we'll make him change his mind. And tell him, you cannot fight back. You cannot block any attack. Better not call the police. So many of us, round up as many as you can. Be safe. I have something to settle. I won't be around. So you'll be in charge of this punishment. So I'll just have to stand there and let the other gang members beat me up for five minutes each. Each gang member gets five minutes to punch and kick you. And I'm not allowed to fight back? Yeah, you cannot fight back. And no calling the police after that. How many gang members? Not sure yet. But Foggy's gonna round out as many as he can. You sure you don't want to change your mind? I'm sure. Be at the soccer court at Block 643 tonight, 8 p.m. Be there if you want to leave. It's the only way for gang members to exit. Foggy, you're a timekeeper. I go first. Okay, start! Stop! Time's up! Get up! Humiliated me. Made me look bad in front of my brothers. Okay, start! Time's up. Go. <coughs> hey, Melvin. What happened to you? It's nothing, Ma. Did did someone attack you? Did you get into some kind of fight? 
I'm going to call the police. Ma, please don't. It'll only make matters worse. I'm out already. If you call the police, they'll come and beat me up again. Ma, there's no need to. I'm okay. Just a little. Oi! Melvin! Melvin! Hi, Mrs. Wong. I'm Dr. Ratna. Doctor. Your son seems to have some serious injuries. Do you know what happened? I don't know. It's nothing. Just some arguments with friends. These injuries can't be from an argument with friends. It must have been a vicious attack. Mrs. Wong, have you made a police report? He begged me not to. He said he's not allowed to call the police. Well, he may not be allowed to make the call, but I can. I believe my patient, Melvin Wong, was assaulted by six or seven people. Melvin's injuries are so bad that he's lucky to be alive now. How bad are his injuries? Internally, there's damage to his kidney, fractured facial bone and severe head trauma. But oddly, he doesn't have any defensive injuries. You mean he was attacked but did not fight back? This is my educated guess. Mrs Wong, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Kevin Chan from CID. May I speak to Melvin, please? Okay. Melvin, who did this to you? Melvin, please tell the police officer what happened. It is now too late to hide the truth. Tell me who did this to you. My schoolmates, Manu. Sick and foggy. They're from the gang. Some secret society. There were four others, but I don't know their names. Who is the ringleader of this gang? We call him Asyong. Where can we find Asyong? I don't know. Okay, you take a rest now. Thank you, Mrs. Wong. Check with the school for Mano's address. I'm SIO Kevin Chan from CID. Are you Mano? Uh, yeah. Are your parents at home? Mom? Yes, I'm his mother. What's this about? I'm SIO Kevin Chan from CID. We're placing our son under arrest for rioting and being a suspected member of an unlawful secret society. We know you were involved in the beating of Melvin Wong. Who else was involved? And where can we find them? Second, for gear, probably at the gang's hangout. No. Police! And the rest are probably at block 643 at the soccer court. Police! Where can we find the leader of your gang, Asyong? I, I don't know. He wasn't with us when we beat Melvin up. But he was the one who instructed you to beat Melvin up? Do you know what we do if people want to leave? We kick him, punch him. Correct. Everyone has to punch and kick him as hard as they can for five minutes. Yes. After going through our database, we managed to establish the identity and details of this Asyong. Based on our prior investigation, we have checked his usual hangouts, but so far, nothing yet. Okay. You should have warned of arrest against him. Oh, hey, man! Sorry, 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 sorry. Do what you've done! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are sorry. you gonna pay for uh, my shirt? Uh, huh? I see there, I see there. I see there. Tell me who's your boss. Uh, come in, come your boss now. Okay, okay. Go! This is your man, sir. This is Ah, uh, yes. Hi, sir, can I have your IC, please? My IC? Yes. Thank you. So, would you like to share with us what happened just now? Nothing, officer. You sure? I really see nothing. <laughs> Sir? You're wanted by the CID. We are placing you under arrest. 
All eight youths were found guilty of rioting and being members of an unlawful society. Anyone found guilty of rioting shall be punished with imprisonment for a term not exceeding seven years and also be liable to caning. Anyone found guilty of being a member of an unlawful society shall be liable to a fine up to $5,000 and imprisonment for a term not exceeding three years. While the secret society situation in Singapore is under control, the police will continue to take stern action against gang members regardless of their age. If you are in a gang and find it hard to get out, or if you know someone or a family member in such a predicament, please contact the Secret Society's branch of the Criminal Investigation Department at 6435 0000 for help. In the following segment, you will see officers from the Secret Society's branch and the Volunteer Special Constabulary mounting an island-wide operation against gang-related activities. The Volunteer Special Constabulary, or VSC, was formed in 1946. The VSC complements the Singapore Police Force and comprises volunteers from all walks of life. Now this year marks the 70th anniversary of the VSC and we'd like to thank all VSC officers for their dedication and for playing an important role in keeping Singapore safe and secure. We would also like to thank the families of our VSC officers for their support through the years. We've come to the end of this season of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. Until next year, I'm Superintendent Julius Lim, signing off.